Huge thank you to my five members on YouTube. Thank you so much for supporting what I do. VTubers are awesome. And not only are they quite popular in platforms like Twitch, they also have an amazing community showing them love and support and backing them up. Tonight, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to set up your VTubers for your streams, how to add it into your OBS, and I'm also going to be providing you guys with a couple of free VTuber models for you guys to use. Let's go. How's it going guys? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. My name is Synchro. Guys, like I said at the start of this video, tonight we're gonna be learning how to set up our VTuber. We're gonna cover a couple of things in this video that are going to be really big help. We're gonna be getting ourselves some free VTuber models for you guys to use, provided by myself and created by the beautiful Call Me Sketch. I'm also gonna be showing you guys a completely free tool that you can use to either edit these models that I'm giving you guys or to make your very own VTuber model. We're also going to be downloading and setting up the software required for VTubing and we're gonna set it all up in our OBS. Keep in mind, you're still gonna need some form of webcam for your VTuber. This is mainly so then you can actually track your body movements and your face movements and stuff like that, or else you'll just end up staring creepily at the camera. Guys, if this video helps you in any way, consider liking and subscribing. Also, share it around with your streamer friends so they can learn something new too. Alrighty. Let's get this started. First things first, we're gonna need some VTuber models. And like I mentioned before, I got you covered. Hop over on my Discord, great place. You'll absolutely love it. Scroll down to the categories over here until you see design files. Click on design files and scroll down until you see these four cuties over here. These are the four VTuber models that I'm giving out to you guys. Once you're over here, just click this little button over here to download it. Once the zip is downloaded, right click and extract. Once it's extracted, open the folder and you should see a total of eight files, two for each of the models. One is for you to use in your VTuber software and the other one is so you can edit and make your own edits and modifications to it. Oh, and uh, speaking of modifications, Vroid is one of the tools that you can use to edit the models that I've given you or make your very own model. It's completely free and you can download it on their website or on Steam. Now, I'm not gonna teach you guys how to use Vroid, that's not what this tutorial is about, but if you want a powerful tool that's relatively easy to use and completely free, so you can edit the models or even make your own, then Vroid Studio is one that I think you guys will genuinely enjoy using. All right, so we got the models, we got the software to edit the models if we want to do that. What's next? Well, now we need a software called the VC Face. VC Face is a completely free, super customizable eye, face, head, body, limb tracking software that you can import your VTuber model into and then easily add that into OBS. Link to VC Face is gonna be in the description of this video. So head over to the website, download VC Face, extract it, and then let's go through a couple of basic settings. After you extract it, run the EXE. And the first time you boot up the software, it's gonna give you some basic instructions on what you should do and how to add it to OBS. You can follow these instructions now if you want, but we'll be going through them again later in the video. The next few pages are just basic tutorials, basically teaching you how to move your model around, hiding your UI, resetting your model's position, and other stuff. Once the tutorial is done, this is the page that you're gonna be greeted by. First thing that we should do is on the top right is select our camera and our microphone. The reason we need to select it is so we can track our body movement and when we speak, our mouth movement. As you can see, I'm speaking right now, and he's actually moving his mouth as well. Once you select your camera, you'll be prompted to the camera settings and the FPS. I'd recommend going at 1080, but if you can't run 1080, try 720 if you don't have the computing power. With the FPS, I think 24 is a good number to have. Awesome, now let's add our avatar. Click the big plus and let's find the avatar that we downloaded. Choose one of the models we downloaded and hit open. Once you've added the model, just select it and click start. Now that we have our model open and sorted, you can see that when you speak, your mouth will start moving. And if you have your camera looking at you, it'll track your basic movements like eye movement, body movement, blinking, stuff like that. You can change bits of your lighting by clicking the settings and light settings. Effect settings can also give you a little more options as well. You can add more tracking features for your facial expressions, such as happy, angry, joy, sorrow, and more by going into your general settings and change the expression detecting to either simple or experimental. If you choose experimental, you're going to have to calibrate each emotion. There's a lot more customization with the software, but that all tends to be personal preference. Now that we're done with this, let's head over to OBS so we can add it there. So if you decided to follow the instructions that VC Face gave you on the last part, you should already have this done, but if you waited to do it with me, well, let's get this party going. So first of all, open up your OBS and let's make a brand new scene. I'm gonna call it VTuber scene. On this new scene that we created, let's add a brand new source and we're gonna go to Game Capture. Let's call this VTuber Capture. 
On the property window, let's change the mode over here to capture a specific window. The window that we're going to select is going to be our VC face. Then scroll down a little bit and tick the box that says allow transparency and also untick capture cursor and then click OK. Now you can resize your VTuber to any size that you want. And if you want to remove these menus that you see around the frame, simply open your VTuber software, click this little box down over here on the bottom right, and then hit space to hide the little box as well. And there you go, no more menus. Now, if you want to add your VTuber to your other scenes, you simply have to go to the scene that you wanted on. On that scene, look for sources, click the plus and sources, head over to scene, and then add your VTuber scene. And there you go, now just resize it to whatever size you want. Awesome. Keep in mind, you will have to turn your VC face on every time you want to stream with your VTuber. It's not automatic. Just thought I'll point this out for those who are very, very brand new into the environment of both streaming and VTubing. You can minimize your VC face after you open it. You just have to have it running in the background. Well, there we go, my friends. Super simple and easy way to set up your VTuber for your streams. It's so simple and easy to do, but I hope that my video was able to help you make that experience an even easier one. I actually have another tutorial in the works teaching you guys a way so you can turn into a VTuber at the click of a button using my smoke effect transition. So stay tuned for that. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Thank you so much for your time. I hope this video was able to help you or a friend of yours in any way, shape or form. If you guys have any questions and want to learn more, come check us out on Twitch. I stream Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays starting at 4 p.m. Australia West Standard Time. And I'd love to see you there. That's all for this video, friends. I hope you all have an amazing day and an amazing stream. And if you want to check out some more cool tutorials and learn how to do some really awesome things with your OBS, then you're doing yourself a disservice by not checking out these two videos. Trust me, you won't regret it.